plate tectonics is the study of how the continents have moved. And it sounds strange, but the continents we live on move, and move at the rate of about two inches a year. Now, you'd never feel that. You're not going to feel the continents moving. But North America is moving about two inches west every year. Over a period of hundreds of millions of years, this means the continents move hundreds, even thousands of miles. And four to 500 million years ago, Illinois was actually near the equator. And that's why we were a tropical ocean in those days. Now, I have to show you these. Often people find a particular type of fossil. Here's some examples right there. They're called crinoids. A lot of people call them Indian beads because sometimes you find a separate piece of one of these and it may even have a hole in it and you can string them together and make a little necklace of beads if you choose, if you have enough of them. Indian beads are very common. The animal they come from, the crinoid, looks something like this. It had a long stem and some kind of root-like structures there to hold it in place. It had a body and then had a bunch of feathery-like arms coming out. Now it looks like a flower and some people call them sea lilies, but it's actually an animal. It's actually a cousin of the starfish. But these animals were very common and of course when they died their skeletons would break up and what does that stem break up into? But masses of Indian beads. So that's what those are. A lot of people find these and don't know what they're from. Now, is Illinois still a warm tropical ocean? No, not anymore. Obviously, something has happened to change Illinois and to change it big time. What was that something? Well, we have to go back to plate tectonics. The continents are moving, and they were moving four and 500 million years ago. And North America ran into two old friends, Europe and Africa. All three continents collided. And somewhere over near the present day East Coast in New York State in that area, a great mountain range formed. The continents did not collide at high speed, they collided only at a few inches a year, but with trillions of tons of continent behind the impact, a great mountain range formed. And as soon as mountains form, erosion starts tearing them apart. Wind and water start wearing them down. Water washes the broken up mountain material into streams and rivers, and the rivers carry this material down to the ocean where they dump it, or they deposit it. And where was the ocean during this time? It was here in Illinois. And so great rivers from the mountains in the east carrying all this material, all this broken up material from the mountain, those great rivers came into Illinois and deposited what they were carrying and formed a kind of a platform, a structure. The Mississippi River does this very same thing today. When it gets to the Gulf of Mexico, it deposits all the stuff that it's carrying and forms a structure that we call a delta. And that's what happened to Illinois by about 300 million years ago. Instead of being the tropical ocean that it had been four to 500 million years ago, Illinois was changing completely as this great river system came into this area, carrying all this broken up mountain and building this great structure that we call a delta. And deltas are places where the rivers break up into a number of smaller channels and deposit the material that they are carrying. 